Hey guys, and welcome back to the second episode of Stone Block 2. We've got some stone in our faces. I know. What are we doing this time? We are working our way up towards the mining dimension. As you can see in the top right corner, we are currently at y equals 245. And we are heading our way up. Not the easiest process and not the most fun to watch. So I took the liberty of doing most of this off camera and every so often I've been going up and digging out a spot behind, placing a torch, and then, oh, this time I did it to the left. Oh well, I've been placing a torch and then continuing to dig up. That way we can see. Not the first time I've messed it up, certainly not gonna be the last. All right, now we have found our way to bedrock, which means we can head up. Loading terrain. Hmm, something looks a little similar here, doesn't it? Yep, looks very, very similar, except for one thing. Look at that. There's something here that's not just stone. We can dig and find things. There's things on the map. It's glorious. And the other nice thing. Quest complete. What do we get? More Black Lotus. When it comes to Batania time, we are going to do great. Now, I completely forgot last episode. Well, I guess maybe not. Looks like our auto jump is already off. Thought it just did it, but I guess I'm wrong. All right, we're gonna continue digging. So far, we haven't really seen anything other than stone and the other varieties, but there you go. Ores, there's redstone. Now, we don't currently have anything that can actually mine that. So we're gonna continue mining up and up until we can find our way to some iron, which Second we say it, there it is. Let's dig some iron. Grab some of that. Looks like we can mine the charged Certus Quartz, which is nice as well. So we'll continue mining up. Now last time I played, I ended up finding a cave, which worked out pretty well. Made it a lot easier to do this mining. And it looks like we will probably intersect with one at some point here. So let's continue mining up. We're only at y equals 22. All right, so I see this cave up ahead of us. Let's head towards that. Another broken pickaxe. We have broken quite a few of those working on this process see if we can intersect with this cave up here that's on our right on the mini-map. We do not have the torches on us to be able to actually go through the cave, but we should at least be able to make it to it and get our layout set up. Then we'll head back to the base. I'll show you a couple other things that I've done. Uh, looks like we should be good to head this way now. The only bad thing about this plan is it could be above us, it could be below us. Sounds like it's probably above, though. Let's see here. Can we zoom in? Does not look like it. So we'll just kind of have to hope, and thankfully there's a bat to help us. Aha, it's our climbing gloves that is making that noise. Or helping us actually climb up. I think we should be intersected with this cave here somewhere. Alright, I'm going to cut the video here, and once we find the cave, then I will go ahead and bring us back. Be right back, guys. Alrighty guys, it looks like we found our cave. Definitely seeing some ores, and it looks like it's a pretty big system. 
eat another apple here, and we'll head back and get some torches, and we'll cook up this iron. Nope, gone a little too far. These climbing gloves are not the easiest thing to use in the world. There we go. All right. Head back down. All right. There we go. Make it to where we don't hit our head every step we take down. And apparently we're going to need another pickaxe too. Not just the iron one. Alright. Dig our way back down just a tiny bit. Do we have another pickaxe? No. Will this work? Alright. Looks like that'll work. There we go. And we've made it back. And let's see here. Which direction... Looks like this direction to our ladder, maybe. There we go. All right, we'll head back down. Slowly but surely, we'll make our way down. This took a really long time to mine all the way up there. All right, so a couple other things I've done. I dug out two rooms like this on each side that we didn't have stuff on. Give us a little bit more space when it comes time to use it. And we can put this back. Let's see here. The ladders can go back. I started filling our drawer with some of the cobblestone that we got from there and from there. And then I also chopped down a bunch of trees. That way we wouldn't have to sit here and worry about that. So I'm going to take these out and put those in here as well. Didn't worry about getting any of the saplings, I just ended up throwing a decent amount of those away. But we do have a bunch of stuff now. All right, so let's get a little bit of wood and let's make one more chest. And we're gonna use this for our important resources. Place it over here, sort of squirts, We've got enough iron, we can put, let's see here, anything else in here? Doesn't look like anything else is gonna matter. We'll move our furnace here after we make a, another pickaxe. One more, take some wood. All right, make some sticks. So we're gonna need to make some more charcoal as well. So we'll make Five more charcoal. Take these. The reason last episode we were working on making these bricks was now we can make a bonsai pot. For right this second, we'll place it there. We're gonna take the dirt that we got. Actually, I can put that one back and just place this one in here. Take one of our saplings. This one will do, and we'll place it in here. Now this will start growing trees, and unfortunately it's not going to empty its inventory into here because we don't have a hopper, but we can fix that once we get a hopper. So let's take a look at a hopper recipe. You know, this from vanilla, we need five iron and we need a chest. So let's make one more chest. just like so, and we're going to need to smelt our iron down. So we're going to make five more torches. And I'm actually going to break this again. That way we can turn this into what we need. We're going to make an iron pickaxe out of this, and then the hopper. Alright, so we got enough for our iron pickaxe. We'll go ahead and craft that. 
and we're actually going to take a few more of these apples, craft them together with our sapling, and make an apple tree out of this. That'll mean that our bonsai pot, when we turn it into the hopping bonsai, it'll put wood, sticks, apples, and a chance of saplings as well into this crate. We got two more iron to go. So let's take a look at where we're at for quests. So the next quest going this way would be to go to the end, which would be to the mine, to the top of the mining dimension. I don't think we're actually quite there yet. The other thing is going to be getting hot in here. So this is to make a crucible, not this kind of crucible, but an actual one that'll cook lava for us. And currently, not really something that we have access to. Because we're going to need bones and combine that with clay to be able to make what we need. So let's take some of this. I'm actually going to replace that furnace. That's not the recipe. with another cobblestone chest. These do work like vanilla chests in that they'll combine together, like so. That way we can start putting some of this other stuff in here that we're not gonna need. We can put this in here, this in here. Let's craft our hopping bonsai. Hopper and bonsai pot. Make a hopping bonsai pot. There we go. Looks like I put that piece of dirt in there, so we'll put it in there. We'll take our apple sapling and put it in here. So now when the sapling grows, it's going to put all that stuff in here, which will be nice. We're going to put our furnace back down. Where do we want to put it? We'll put it over here. Put that back in there. We'll end up needing some more clay eventually, but we're going to put that away. We've got plenty of black lotus. Don't need our string. Don't need the wooden shears. Probably don't need our stone rods, but we'll hold on to those just in case. We've got our iron pickaxe, we've got a regular pickaxe. Now the next thing I'm going to want to make is a sword. Because we do have the chance to run into mobs while we're in the other dimension. So let's go ahead and make one of those. Put that there. Silkworms we're not going to need. Actually, additions manual, not going to need. We could use some more food eventually, but... I'm not super worried about that right now, although we will go ahead and cook up these apples just because we're using the tiny charcoal. So you can see the sapling is almost completely grown. Now it's finished up and it's put an apple sapling, a stick, and some leaves in here. Now we'll be able to get some wood and apples and eventually our food problem is completely solved this way. So. Now we can place our torches here, we'll hold on to those, and let's head back to the other dimension. The first thing actually we should do though, before I forget, is let's claim our chunks and set them to be chunk loaded. That way everything here works while we're gone, that'll give the apple sapling a while to work, and he can make us food while we're gone. Geronimo! Loading terrain. Alrighty. A little disorienting sometimes when we get there, but that's okay. Now that we have an iron pickaxe, we can dig the redstone. Yep. Gonna make sure to try not to use the durability on the iron pickaxe when we don't need to. I probably should have brought a crafting table to make more pickaxes, but hopefully that won't be needed too much. Alright, we'll start placing our torches as we go. Alright, so here is our entryway. And here's some coal. That'll allow us to make more torches as we proceed on because we can make stone torches by crafting some stone sticks, some more certus quartz. All right, we need iron pickaxe for that. More yellow right. This is good. 
from Black Quartz. And I'm using the torch method where I place the torches on the right. That way, if we ever get lost, we can come back, follow the torches by having them stay on the left, and not have to worry. Oh, iron pickaxe for this one as well. Need it for the dimensional shard ore. Exotic miner. Alrighty. Some more black quartz. Hello, Mr. Bat. It is nice to meet you. Do you have any friends that we could, you know, kill? Like skeletons? We're looking for skeletons. Alright. Oh, we don't want that skeleton though. Baby skeletons are very quick and they hit very hard. Hey, we got a bone. It is very difficult for me to keep track of how quick those are. So we have to be careful around those. And we're gonna need food again here pretty quickly. All right. There are a lot of bats down this way. Make sure to grab everything there. Is it me or is that a group of creepers? Am I interrupting a meeting here? Oh. I believe I interrupted the creeper unit council meeting. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. This guy over here wasn't invited to the meeting. Oh, there's two of them. Uh oh, stuck in a hole. There we go. Monster Hunter. Didn't mean to hit the bat there. Oh, this one's got googly eyes. Stay away, please. I uh, hear laughing, that means there's a witch. Alright, continue to be on the lookout for more creepers. Ooh, here's one of the additions to Stone Block that we didn't have in Stone Block 1 Angry Zombies from Thomcraft. Oh gosh. All right, we got him, and we got, I believe, exactly enough of the bones to do what we need. So let's head back the other way here for a little bit. We'll mine up the resources that we got, and then we will continue questing. Hello, bat. Sorry that your family died to a creeper explosion. Oh, this is not good. Oh, very close to death. Oh, and there's a creeper. If we get hit, we are dead. Oh, just barely dodged that. All right, we're going to head up this way. We definitely do not want to die here. Here's our entrance. Make sure we don't die from fall damage here. All right, now we can head back downstairs. Down to the underworld. Or in this case, technically the overworld, I guess, but it all works. Back in the overworld, and here's our ladder. The quickest ladder descent you will ever see not sure what mod adds this, but it is kind of nice when you're actually traversing the ladders. It makes it very difficult when you're not, though, when you're just trying to place the ladders. So let's grab some apples, put these away, and eat some food, regain our health. Put this away, put this away. Got a bunch of good materials while we were there. All right, so now we can make a little bit more clay. 
Let's grab our hammer. This one. Uh, we'll make it two more dust. Should be enough, I would think. Eat another apple. Oops. Guess we're making three dust. That's okay. All right, we got one more clay and does that, it gives us exactly enough for what we need. So we're gonna break one more of these. See, we're getting some wood, getting some apples. Life is good. All right, now that we have seven clay, we can make some bone meal. Combine the seven clay with the bone meal to make seven porcelain clay. And finally, we'll turn that porcelain clay into an unfired crucible. Now we're gonna need to smelt this. Be really nice if we got one of those uh, ultimate furnaces. But that is a quest complete. So let's let's see if we get that ultimate furnace or a cloche. You know, I was definitely super hoping for a cloche. That's mm -hmm. all right. So we're gonna dig out under here and do the same thing that we did with the other crucible. Place a torch down. And let's get, oop, we have cobble in our inventory. We'll place that there. And we'll start making lava with it. Now with lava, we're gonna be able to power our smeltery and also make a cobblestone generator and continue working on some of our quests. All right, guys, we're getting towards the end of the episode here. Next time, we're gonna go and start working on our smeltery and our cobblestone generator. But it looks like because we picked up a little bit of Inferium Essence while we were killing baddies, we've got one last reward to claim, an advanced item collector. That'll be helpful for when we make a mob farm. But other than that, that is gonna be the end of our episode today. I hope you guys liked it and come back next time as we make some more things. See you guys.